Hey guys, Portia here and today I'm going to be doing a review on Hippo Water Slide Decal Paper. Now it's for inkjet printers and it is clear paper. So a few weeks ago the company reached out to me and said, hey, would you like to try our product? And I said, sure, you know, why not? So just to let you guys know, anytime I do a review, I'm looking for some really basic things. Now, first off, does the product do what it says it's going to do? Um, number two, how easy is it to use? And then last but not least, would I use the product again? Real simple, right? So let's go ahead and follow the instructions, produce ourselves a water slide, and see how it all works. All right, so this is the image I'm going to use today. So I made it in Canva. So this is just a, a like a, a fashion drawing and then I added the font and then the crown and I'm going to eventually put it on a glass water bottle but for now this is what we're using and we're going to go ahead and say make it and I am going to print this on my Canon printer it's the Pixma like IX6820 I believe that's what that says and so we're going to say send to printer. I'm going to turn the bleed off because I don't need it today. Use the system dialog. I'm going to say print. And my preferences. So we want to do photo printing. And I want to do glossy paper. And I also want this to be high. And this is according to manufacturer's instructions and our paper is the regular size and now we print all right there's our image I did print on the glossy side up and I'm just gonna go ahead and let this dry for a second before we go on to okay, the next so step. the image is fully dry I'm gonna go ahead and take it out back and I am going to use my Mod Podge acrylic sealer to seal it three times according to the manuf manufacturer for best results to do it three times wait about 10 minutes between each coat or you can use a blow dryer for the coat so let me go ahead and get that done all right check it out y'all she is fierce but now it's time to cut all right now it is time to slide all right look like it didn't want to peel away there for a second should have wet this well definitely want to do this part slowly because you do not want to tear your slide bam all right she is down y'all and looking as fierce as ever so now I'm gonna gently just lay my edges down I love how this fades out to like a, to like nothing it almost looks like smoke why well, I chose this image all right guys this is what we have here at this point I would take some uh, probably paper towel and just dab a little bit or even a coffee filter it'll help to soak up the water really well without leaving any tissue residue and my edges are laid flat I would let this dry completely and since the base is resin I will come back in with another layer of resin to finish this off so now let's talk about the product so yeah guys final thoughts the hippo water slides were simple to use they are extremely beginner friendly um, to be honest I have no complaints I'm actually not a stranger to water slides at all but when we're viewing a product I wanted to go step by step and follow the manufacturer's instructions to the T so that I can give it a fair uh, review and I found no problems in the instructions now I will say this, um, it is, the instructions are easy to follow, very beginner friendly, but there is a learning curve. If you have never used water slide decal paper before, you're gonna wanna understand like what sealant works for you. How long between drying time, although um, the instructions say 10 minutes between, depending upon your climate, area, whatever, you may need a longer time. So like for me, um, I sprayed out back, I let it dry, and then after my last drying coat, I let it dry a little bit. I'm sorry, after my last coat, I let it dry a little bit longer, because actually I was 
cooking dinner and almost forgot to come back to it. But anyway, my point in saying all that is make sure that you allow your slide to be dry, dry. You may want to start with little things and do some tests and put them in water and make sure that they don't bleed because you could be very disappointed if you, say, cut out a really big piece. Like, so this was a decent sized piece, not a full wrap or anything like that. But, um, and then it, it turns into gunk. Who wants that? That is so disappointing and discouraging. But um, yeah, as far as my tumbler here, uh, she is almost done. I'm gonna allow this to dry for 24 hours. Um, you do see that I did add a little bit of bling to our top because every queen needs some bling. Um, and I'm gonna come back with a layer of epoxy and she will be ready to go. I might add some words here, not sure. I don't like this big blank space, but sometimes I need to learn to leave it well enough alone. So yeah, guys, this is all I have for you today. I would absolutely recommend you try out the uh, Hippo Water Slides because I will be trying them again myself. If you got any questions, concerns, emotional outbursts, let me know. If you found this video helpful, could you go ahead and give me a thumbs up? I really appreciate it. But as always, until next time, peace.